Hello and... Oh, words. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Gamer's Remorse. Today we're checking out the game Forbidden Bridge! <laughs> A game from, well, our childhood. Because yeah. it's awesome. And who made this? Milton, Milton Bradley? Bradley? Milton Bradley. A motorized adventure game. Fun fact. I don't know why they call it motorized. It's purely based... Non-electronic motorized. What, is, what does this motor look like? How many cylinders Take is it? Take it apart, let's find out. I guess it's a V1. A V1. Brian, tell us how to play the game. Yeah, so this is one of like the three games I played way too much growing up with my brother. It was pretty much this, Scotland Yard, and phase 10. I think that was like our childhood in a nutshell. Uh, so the way it works is you are explorers trying to get jewels. Apparently the village wants two jewels, but they will only buy them from one person. So it's a race. So whoever first gets two jewels wins. Seems contrived, doesn't it? Have you ever tried to sell jewels to a tribe? One at a time? Yes. Well, you sell them. You have to sell them two at a time. It's, it's what they want. It's what the people want. There you go. So you're essentially rolling two dice. One of them has the numbers one through six. That tells you how far you move. The other one has three different icons. One icon has the idol, and you'll push down on the idol's head. He'll go. Wah! make stuff fall off the bridge. Another one has a picture of an explorer. If you have an explorer on the bridge, you can move them to a more precarious spot. You cannot, however, drop them through a hole. You cannot push them right off the side, but you can place them in a position that they are more likely to fall mm. if and when that happens. And then the other one is a jewel symbol. If my character has a jewel, and this may be over here heading back. His character is heading this way. If he rolls a jewel and a plus two, he can move to steal my jewel. Or if we're already on the place, he can steal my jewel and then he can move to. Mm -hmm. So, but you have to roll the jewel for that to work. Does it have to be exact amount? Like what it has I to be before? exact. Oh, okay. Oh. If you do not have a jewel, your movement will always be directed this way. If you do have a jewel, you can move either way you want on the bridge. Mm -hmm. But you're always doing exact movement. So let's say two would force you to a precarious platform. You can choose to go to the other direction. Mm -hmm. But then once you get a jewel, so we'll be working our way up. Well, we start in the canoes, and we'll be taking our canoe to the beach. And once we get to the beach, we'll be climbing these cliffs, crossing this bridge. There should be six jewels in each hand. You take a jewel, and you'll be carrying it back. If a jewel ever falls into the water, it returns to the idol's hand. If a jewel falls into the jungle, then you can run down and pick it up. Okay. Um, if a jewel falls on the bridge, you can pick it up from the bridge. Mm -hmm. um, if you have the jewel in your backpack and you fall through the water, you place the jewel where you fell through. Um, but we'll start, we'll race to the beach. Once we get to the beach, we get out of our canoes, we climb up. We run here, we get the jewels, we come back down, put the jewel in our canoe, run back up, get a second jewel run back down, take the canoe back. Now the tribe that's buying these jewels is also very aware of color theory. So if a blue person returns in a red canoe, they're not buying your jewels. Right, no good. No, no good, it's not right. happening. Classic. And we are willing to steal from each other, but we understand you don't steal from each other's canoe. That's just... Obviously. I mean, no explorer in their right mind would ever do that. Be terrible. I know, right? So that being said, we are going to enjoy some nostalgia. Uh, I hope. Hopefully this game lives up. <laughs> I I've, I've not played it for probably 20 years. Right. It's funny how some games really do live up, like Fireball Island, and other ones are mm -hmm. just terrible. Yeah, th this is pure <laughs> roll and move with a little bit of other stuff. But as a kid, I could play this all day, every day, and just, not get tired of it. Just like Creeks and Shrieks. Just like Creeks and Shrieks. <laughs> Speaking of games that don't hold up. So, anyway. So, youngest player goes first, Classic. as should be the case in every uh, game. Right, right. So I will start trying to make my way to Listen the beach. Listen to those dice, those are solid. Yeah, solid plastic. 
And if you always do this die first, okay. if possible. So we will start with our little idle buddy. <laughs> nice! <laughs> And then I will move five. That was one, amazing. Two, three, four, five. Beaching my canoe. Nice. It's like a little surfboard. Yeah. All right. I'm going to skip that since no one's up oh, there. It's a waste of time. One, Man. two, three, four, five. Can I get off yep. first? So then you move climb up here. that first tier there. Number six. Four. And you are not on the bridge. That mm -hmm. does not matter. So, one, two, three. Oh, so you skip over me. Four, yes. Well, it counts. So that would have been one. Oh, okay. I thought there was one on the this back. This would have been two. Ah, uh, okay. This would have been three. All right, I'm with you. And this is four. I'm with you. Okay. All right, this is where things get fun. Yep. Come on, Lady Luck. Oh. Bam. So this guy first. Ah. <laughs> I feel like it's not. Does that seem broken to you? Not fully <laughs> nestled in there. I mean, it seems like it's there. Anyway, I move forward. <laughs> One, two, three, and then four. All right, four in the idle as well. There we go. We got some movement, right? There we go. Bit more precarious. One, two, three, four. Oh man, here we go. Ooh, four. But you cannot steal my non existent One, two, tool. Three. There we go. Two, ah, uh, ooh. Yeah, you get to move me in a precarious situation. Oh man. How are you going to move yourself without knocking me over? Hopefully poorly. Yeah. So there's a small lip on the edge there that's yeah. holding you in place. But if you roll an idle, hopefully... <sighs> so you, if there's a hook, you always go on the hook. Oh, I have to move you yeah. on the hook? And you have Play. to be flat-footed on the bridge. There you go, flat-footed <laughs> on the bridge. <laughs> What? I'll, I'll let it slide. Cause <laughs> Wait, I didn't move yet. Oh, you know what I roll? I think you rolled a two. Okay. We can play it back in post if you don't trust me. One, two. Four in the <laughs> idol. Oh, man. When you stand it. up, you yeah. always stand up on the tile your head is on. Okay. So, I'll stand up here. And then you move forward. And I'll move forward. One, two, three, four. Oh man, that was vicious that time. One, two, three, four, five. Do I stand here yep. for six? So, and you put a jewel in your bag. Goodness. And only two explorers can ever be on that platform at a time. There's only two of us, so it doesn't matter too much. Yep. My brother and I would play this, and we'd each have two people. <laughs> and we nice. had a rule that both your people had to make it back. Oh. So it is possible you might be the first one back, but then if I got my other two back, I could still win. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Six. However, you always stop to take a jewel. It takes your full movement. Oh, okay. Out of my way, kid. So now we're racing back to our canoe. Our canoes. We drop a jewel there and come back up. And come back for a second. Okay. I'm gonna steal your. I'm throwing my back. <laughs> Stealing your. Can I do that? I don't. That'd know. be amazing. Because then that would take your full action and yeah. then pick one up. Be a jerk move. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just booking it out of dodge. Get on there. You shouldn't really have to push. 
you shouldn't, but... I'm gonna blow you away with my good dice rolling abilities right here. Bam! <laughs> oh, I don't like this. So you can flat, flat footed. Foot it. Yeah. yeah. And I move a whopping one. But again, you could go the other direction if you want. I could. Make it a little precarious. Yeah. Now is our roll. Oh, you can move me in a precarious position. For the record, you could have sent me like that. Because that is not a lick. Oh, so it's not a hug. I misunderstood then. Okay. One. So first, I'll, I'll be sitting here. Yep, you move me. Move you. Oh, I don't know if that counts. What does that mean? We're going to count it. We'll count that as a fallen gem. It's my fault. Ooh. So now I have to start heading back. You gotta be careful mm -hmm. with your place. That's kind of crazy. That made it interesting. I think I may just lost me the game. So that's useless for me, yep. and then I move forward. Well, I am rolling so fast right now, you don't even know. So I'm gonna... Right? <laughs> you there? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? Are you counting that? You could just ham fist it? I'll, I'll be nice, and I'll put you back. Well, I'm trying to figure out what's legal here so I can manipulate the situation. I'm going to say if you knock yourself down, that's on you. That's on but you. If you, knock, if you knock the other person down. Sure. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah. But I don't like this. That's <laughs> 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 so the other way. Oh, man. Okay. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb one. Jewel and four. One, two, Five. Oh no. <laughs> that was lame. Up there. <laughs> what does ha. that mean for you? I'm here with my jewels. I, I don't see it up until your turn. Okay. Can I move you in a more precarious thing? Yeah. Now? Swirly! <laughs> Alright, so I move five. So one. You you can two, put both of your gems three, and you can do it once. And you can four. only beach here. Oh. So you're on foot now. Okay, so one. Can I make it across here yep. like this? Okay, yep. so one, two. Pick up this gym, right? Uh -huh. And picking up a gym is your full turn. Okay, so I'm stuck there now. Yeah. All right. So now I will roll. Idle head. Man, it got brutal now. I'll stand up. I think I just needed some warm ups. Pick up a gem, and you're okay. up. Five, one, two, drop it in for three. Yeah. Can I get on it too? I mean, in theory, getting on it your next turn would be free, so yes. Okay. There you go. One, two. All right, so it'll take you one, two, three, four, five turns. If I only roll sixes, oh. No. One, two, three. It's a five, it's a good start. Oh, wait. Oh. Alright. Here we one, go. One, one. One, one. One marbles. Oh. Forgot the idle head, man. Oh. Oh! <laughs> it did it! <laughs> I wasn't sure it was going to. Like, it legitimately did its job. Yeah. I thought maybe it had gotten too old to actually yeah. have the proper swing. This, this game, it's, it's like cheese or wine. It just gets better with age, except when it doesn't work. Ah! <laughs> All right. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Yeah. Let us know down below what other vintage games you guys yeah. want us to play. What, what games did you grow up on that we need to test out? I don't know what the signal is. See you guys later.
travel remotes and stuff. You're a remote. Technology, I tells you. That thing there, people still complain. Do we want to Tornado Rex this one and play it again with like a zany twist? What zany twist do you have Or should we just call it good and be like, yeah, that was a good game. 